What happened to you? How did you end up like this? You kill people. You know that's not right, right? Bad day? Okay, tell me about it. I am now joined by Katie Sheridan. So you play the leading girl, Rebecca Gold. Now, for those of us who haven't seen it yet, well, I, I have seen it, but our viewers who may not have seen it yet, explain a little bit about what it's about. Uh, Rebecca Gold is about an assassin, and uh, she goes rogue when she encounters her high school crush. And uh, she's sort of surrounded by quite a colourful selection of characters, and it's about her journey when she encounters her crush. And so she's kind of been blacklisted from this sort of a secret uh, service. So what has she done to, to, to become this way? Um, well, I don't want to give too much away. <laughs> um, but basically she, um, she compromises her mission basically when she, when she encounters her high school crush who she hasn't seen for years. Um, and she should kill her on sight and essentially she doesn't. Um, and it leads to a whole host of things going wrong and uh, yeah, she loses her gold status basically. Basically. And so people who work for this service aren't allowed to have any emotional ties to the people they're involved with. That must be very, very tricky because when I'm watching this show, I'm thinking, she's actually a good girl. She's got a good heart on her. She's just getting rid of the bad guys, right? Yeah, that's kind of what I like about the character because she's quite feisty and quite fierce and she's got a bit of attitude. But at the same time, she's really fiercely loyal and kind of, you know, tries to do what she feels is right. Um, and it's quite selfless in a way because you know it puts her in a really bad position. Um, so yeah, she's she is a she's got a big heart and uh, a big mouth, you know, at the same time. Um, but that's yeah, kind of what I like about her. Now, what's really interesting is there's a bit in the in the um, in the episode where she finds out that well, she finds out her real surname and she's forgotten everything about her past life. How does she end up going missing in the first place? Um, there's this kind of backstory which is around her maths teacher. So she sort of flipped out and did something she shouldn't have done back at school and um, everybody thinks that she's dead you know so that they put out that she's died but actually it's kind of like she's been taken into this institution she's had experiments done on her and she doesn't actually know who she is so it's like her former life has sort of been washed away and then as the series goes on things sort of trigger off the memories and she starts to realize who she is and she learns her real name so it's a huge um, journey for her to go on to, to learn that kind of thing after sort of being so detached. She's really good when the series starts, I think, at being very detached and quite cold and quite... It works for her. And then suddenly this, this happens and her whole life changes in that, in that sense. And she does become a more emotional person and a, a, a more fragile person. So she's been sort of brainwashed into this like killing machine and then realises actually that she has a personality, she's got a heart and a soul. And so it's been left on quite some cliffhanger um, and we've got to wait until the second series. I'm already thinking, what on earth is going to happen? I want to know answers. I mean, you know, can we reveal anything at all? I don't actually know. <laughs> Well, yeah, but Alison said that as well. Yeah, I don't really know. I mean, it's all in Ian's head, I think, like what would happen if there is a second series. You know, it's sort of been geared up that way. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what would happen. It's kind of left open-ended. I think that's kind of nice. You know, the series kind of ends, like you said, on a cliffhanger. And, uh, yeah. Was it, was it fun to play that kind of character? I mean, someone who's just a bit edgy like that and feisty. Yeah, it was really fun. I really enjoyed running around with the toy guns. <laughs> it was just really like, poo poo poo. Uh, no, yeah, it was really fun. And it's very different. I play a lot of um, girl next doors and, you know, that sort of thing. I play, I've often played sweet characters or victims and things like that. So it's, and because I'm quite small with my size, so often that, that sort of works for that. So it was very different and quite challenging for me to get to play someone who's actually really like feisty and murders loads of people and you know goes around doing that kind of thing and it was so fun to do because it's totally different from anything that I've got to do before and it's nice to like experiment and explore that side of you know me or you know the character to to get to do that it's really fun and what else have you got coming up in the coming year um I don't really know what I've got coming up. <laughs> I've got some stuff coming out. I've got my, I did a feature film called Together, which is about an elderly couple um, played by Sylvia Sims and Peter Bowles. And it's about their fight to stay together when they're separated by the care system. And I play their social worker in the film. I've got a really lovely part in the film. And that had its, a little cinema release at Odeon Cinemas Nationwide. And it's going to be coming out on iTunes and things like that. So I've got that coming. I did a horror film called Heretics, and it just had its premiere at Fight at Fright Fest and um, that should be coming out as well so I've got that coming and that I play like a 
you know, possessed nun demon character. Um, so yeah, lots of fun things. I've done quite a lot of commercials and things like that, but I don't really know what's next. We'll see. It's a quite varied uh, lot there. Yeah, you know, it's, it is quite varied. The the social worker one, you know, that was totally different. It's nice to play a professional. I hadn't really done that before either. And the horror film, I hadn't really played anybody scary and creepy in, like, in that way. So this year has been a lot of different kind of roles, which has been really nice for me. I'm sure it leads to lots of different things. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us, and I really look forward to seeing the second series when that comes out. But meanwhile, for those of you who haven't seen it yet, definitely click on. So it's one episode released every week, right? It's one episode that's released every week. I'm episode. guessing they're released on a Monday, but it might have to check with Ian. Great. Well, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> Kill for a cup of tea right now. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.